Hey, I'm glad you can join me. This is Chris from Data Rescue Labs. I've got a case that's been ongoing for almost two, three weeks now. Um, it's, um, I guess it could call it a bit of a morbid case. Um, it's a phone that's been found in, um, in the lake on a dead body. Um, we had to go through a lot of, a lot of legal proceedings on this case because um, the person who owned this phone was deceased. And between our lawyers and the other side, and because the phone doesn't belong to the family that brought it in here, um, there was a lot of legal issues. So we had to overcome these. So it took a few weeks uh, because of Corona, things were slow. Um, but we finally got a green light on this case. So um, what this is, is a phone, like I said, phone has been found in a lake on that body. Family wants some answers. So um, we obviously gonna do chip off. I, I had a look under the microscope. The phone is pretty badly corroded, as you can see. Um, let me zoom in here. Yeah, the phone's in bad shape. Uh, I believe this, um, this memory chip is underfilled. Um, and my initial um, plan was to do ISP on this phone, but I think the fact that the phone is in such a bad shape and most of the caps are corroded uh, beyond um, repair, I don't think we're going to do ISP. I'm going to try to put it through ultrasonic cleaner just to see what we can do. Uh, but, you know, that doesn't really look, doesn't really look um, promising. So I think um, I'm going to throw it into ultrasonic cleaner and then see what we can do. Uh, have a look at all this. This is really bad. I don't think I've ever seen phone this corroded. Uh, I don't know how long it's been in the lake. I don't really have um, exact details. I mean, I do so some on this case, so I have to leave a lot of stuff out. Um, out of respect for the um, person who died. So uh, we're going to probably just take this um, board now and I'm going to throw it into um, just on a cleaner and take it from there. Okay, we're back here <coughs> with this phone from Ultrasonic Cleaner and 
Uh, they did a right job. I removed a lot of corrosion. It was probably unnecessary to clean it. I just wanted to see um, how much of the corrosion we can get out, but um, by looking at all these capacitors, I don't know if I want to be wasting my time soldering cables, wires um, to this board and then find out it's not going to work. So I think um, we're going to take the risk of chip off. Um, because like I did say that this chip is underfilled. So we can see that there is underfill right here. We're just gonna cut around it and uh, put it on the uh, infrared machine and probably remove it. Okay, so let's get going with this.
Okay, so we're here in um, my forensic station where I have Celebrite. Um, the first thing we have to do, we probably have to test the um, that the image is okay. I mean, pretty sure the image is fine because um, we were we had no problems reading it. So let's open it in our studio and make sure it's not not encrypted. Uh, unless the user enable encryption, it would be encrypted. But let's see. Okay. It's looking good. Okay, we got data here. So I'm not going to go any further with this. Uh, I don't want to show any private information. This is the agreement we had with the family. So um, let's start a new case and celebrate. So we got to add advanced blank project. And this is S4. I know this is a Canadian model. model. There it is. Uh, I'm going to choose ADB image. Here's the image. And uh, I'm going to start the decoding process. And this will take some time, obviously. Uh, I won't be able to show much of this because, like I said earlier, I had an agreement with the family that we're not going to show any personal information on this case. Uh, we're just going to show the process. Um, they were interested to see how this is going to work out. So data should start coming soon, any minute. And uh, here it is phone is starting to load up now I'm gonna watch for anything out of the ordinary the analyze data tab hasn't shown up yet uh, because we haven't decrypted anything sorry we haven't parsed anything um, from this chip yet yeah so data starting to come in anyways thanks for watching um, stay tuned for more videos I should have one coming up sometime in the next week or two uh, lately we've been very busy so uh, fitting in a YouTube video between um, jobs is becoming challenging so um, I'm not gonna set myself a, an impossible schedule where I make videos and these jobs uh, this job I really wanted to uh, show on YouTube anyways uh, you know what to do subscribe follow all that stuff we are still on Instagram and Facebook uh, you can follow us there, link should be below. Anyways, thanks for watching, see you next video.